Hello everyone and welcome into today's video where we are checking out Zilliqa where I have some news from the team but also we have some new developments in the price chart so we will check out all of those in this video so without any further ado let's go and regarding the news we have a new introduction of a new token which is called ZRC-7 which will be the new metadata standard for Zilliqa's NFTs and creator economy now we've also got that previously they've introduced this ZRC6 token standard for NFTs however it seems that this new ZRC7 is adding some new functionality and it is also compatible with both those ZRC1 and ZRC6 standards and the ZRC7 standard is all about how to structure the metadata of NFTs on off-chain storage also they have a specification on github so if you are developer definitely check this out and you have also more information but what i found interesting here is that they mentioned that many of the existing metadata standards such as those used by OpenSea, which is one of the biggest nfts marketplace but also the algorand nfts which is cool they mentioned algorand here are geared towards uh, images and the use of a property called image to represent them however Zelika sees that as we go more into the web 3 and the metaverse NFTs would be represented in many forms so aside from images also videos audios documents codes and even 3d models so with ZRC they want to just broaden the scope and use resource instead of image property to represent a file format beyond images so that's just a very brief explanation of what is going on there is more information down over here but it's getting much more technical so maybe more for the developers now that's the news out of the way we can jump into the price chart where we have seen a new development here because we've broke down below the zone of support board which we've been talking about for quite a long time previously on this channel it has been going pretty much since the july 2021 and in the past six months or nine months we've also been under this downtrending resistance so the price has been getting pushed down into this wedge and we can see that this may be resulted into dropping this price below here however it seems that there is some kind of uptrending support line going over here around which the price has been steadily rising up a little bit there has been more buying pressure and we are not dropping all the way to this level of support which I previously mentioned it's quite significant so there is still some room above this support however now I think it's important to figure out where did this support get from and and reason number one what I think is if we zoom out a little bit this support has been actually significant some time before in November 2021 here and also throughout 2020 all the way to the September 2019 over here so we've seen multiple tags as a resistance over here throughout 2020 but also as a support later as we mentioned in November 2020 over here so this is not entirely a new trend line and also a number two why I think that we've seen the price supported around those places is because of the Zilliqa to Bitcoin ratio where we can see that we have also arrived at some kind of a horizontal support here because previously pretty much since the April or May 2021 the price has been going steadily downwards inside this price channel however now it suddenly stopped around those levels over here which corresponds to this huge price channel going all the way since the inception pretty much in 2018 where throughout the time it defined this upper resistance and also this lower support over here so I think this is also one of the reasons however is the downtrend gonna stop here or will we continue to go even lower in this ratio I think that this support is not as strong that we will stop over here but I think this ratio can drop all the way down to those levels of support 
support in a couple of months time also if we check out the link up to ethereum ratio which is also important we are similarly getting very low in this ratio close to this lower support which corresponds to this huge price channel which we've mentioned before as well and i think this level is much stronger than the one in bitcoin which we've checked out just a minute ago because it captures all the lows and all the highs for this ratio since the inception so these are very well respected levels by all the investors and i think as we get closer to this lower support there is more and more probability that this downtrend in this ratio will reverse and we will see some huge outperformance of silica in relation to ethereum which could also boost the price in us dollars but for now we will have to wait and see what will happen as we get closer to this tip of this huge wedge which has been going on we can say pretty much for a year or over a year now so i expect some big moves after we get out of this wedge but until then i will be checking the developments and keep you posted on that in the future so that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed this one if so you can like the video or subscribe for any future updates as i mentioned and with this i thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one cheers